Mountain journey so far. I wanted to give you some encouragement today as we face these days with a lot of extra challenges to not feel pressure if your prayer life is falling a little short or if you just don't feel the connection of Jesus being there in your prayer and in your meditation and in your thoughts. Remember Mother Teresa, she had the dark night of the soul. I'm going to read you an excerpt from the Word Among Us because I think it's a great way to keep in mind that we are not alone. A priest who was close to Mother Teresa wrote, With the beginning of her new life in the service of the poor, darkness came on her with oppressive power. A few brief excerpts are enough to give us an idea of the intensity of the darkness in which she found herself. She wrote, There is so much contradiction in my soul, such deep longing for God, so deep that it is painful, a suffering continual, and yet not wanted by God, repulsed, empty, no faith, no love, no zeal. Heaven means nothing to me. It looks like an empty place. It is not difficult to recognize immediately in Mother Teresa's experience a classic case of what the scholars of mysticism following St. John of the Cross generally call the dark night of the soul. All we know leads us to think that this darkness accompanied Mother Teresa until her death with a brief interval in 1958. If from a certain point on, she almost never speaks of it. It is not because her night was over, but because she had adapted herself to living in it. Not only did she accept it, but she also recognized the extraordinary grace it held for her. I have come to love the darkness, for I believe now that it is a part of a very, very small part of Jesus' darkness and pain on earth. So isn't that beautiful? Mother Teresa took her dark night, and even though there was that longing and that emptiness, she thought about Jesus in those moments. And it really intensified her connection with his agony and his pain. And all what we think about during, during this Lenten season, as we really walk that walk that Jesus made. So I hope that today, as we go into prayer now and ask God for the strength, dear Lord, I pray for all those watching this video today and all of us that we may have the strength to be soldiers, to be warriors in our prayer and to keep that fire burning in our hearts and burning in our souls and continue our faith walk even though we feel empty at times, just as Mother Teresa did. Give us that strength that we need to walk these days in the desert with Jesus. Amen.